Black lives matter. How many more hearts need to shatter before we turn the page and start a new chapter? Slavery was abolished. They printed that in the news. But the headlines I'm reading show that that is far from the truth because people are still captive to their skin color, of which none of us can choose. How much more blood needs to be spilled? Will Smith said, racism is not getting worse, it's just getting filmed. That's because this is not the first time that a black person has been killed. It's happened over and over and over again. They say repetition is like the definition of insanity. So what is that saying? This world is broken and it needs to change. This has been happening since the beginning of the age, since Abel and Cain. They even killed Jesus when he came. If I could take off my skin and leave it at the door and you couldn't see colour anymore, would hearts be worth fighting for? I understand the thought that may cross some minds, the thought of, I don't need this in my life. But if you live in this age and time, then you cannot not fight. It shouldn't be a privilege to have skin that is white. And I recognise that if any one of us stays silent, then we all lose this fight because ignoring it is as bad as condoning, looking away the same, because at the end of the day, when God calls your name, what will you say? God, I chose to look away, because that probably won't cut it on judgment day. And choosing not to take part is a choice, but it will result in more broken hearts if we don't learn how to use our voice. So I'm calling on every colour to make some noise in the direction of racism. Now is not the time to be afraid or complacent. Now is the time to stand on the same side as this statement. Black lives matter. Raise your hands to God, wave them like a banner and surrender to Him because we cannot win this fight separate from Him. The one that was killed, three nails and a hammer. He is more relatable than you might imagine. Our God is a God of colour. Born in the Middle East, He was not white as many may believe. Jesus, Son of God, they called Him the Prince of Peace. Something we know little about, but desperately need. This cannot become another forgotten headline. This is the point where we all need to rise and draw the line. So what does change look like in your mind? I believe the answers are in the Word of God and they have been there this whole time. I may be wrong, but I don't think that it is a lack of answers or not knowing what to do, but a lack of action and application of the truth. Jesus said this, a new commandment I give to you, love one another as I have loved you. If you are a believer, then this is the truth and it is this truth that we need to choose. The Bible says God made from one man every nation. There is neither Greek nor Jew, slave nor free, male nor female. So what do you see? I believe God is painting a picture of unity. We need not look at ourselves to find the answers, but we must be compelled to take our chances on the God of love, peace, a sound mind. To some, this may not sound fine, but if you don't believe in Jesus, then tell me this, do you believe in love? because they are one in the same. And for this reason, Jesus came to heal our brokenness and set captives free. We need only reminisce on our history to see that racism never ends happily. We all know of a great man that once spoke of a dream. Let this generation be the one where that dream is finally seen.